Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at the new release of Kai OS. It's K-A-O-S. I'm just going to pronounce it Chaos. It is an independent distribution based on the Linux kernel. But before we get started, please do not forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. We're going to zip on over to their website real quick. Here it is. It's a lean KDE distro, and it's independent, focused on Qt and KDE. The latest release was yesterday, like I told you, or it may have been the day before. You come to their website, which is K-A-O-S-X. US. I'll make sure to put a link in the description below. You've got home, about, news, download, documentation, packages, bugs, KCP, and then their forum. This is a handy site to keep in mind. If you decide you want to download this and run it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, or heck, maybe even install it, don't forget this website. You can always come back over to their forum if you should have any problems. you got latest builds, goals, limited repos, donate, you can scroll down. Every package in every repository is built for chaos, and they follow the latest innovations, always shipping with the most up-to-date there is available for the Plasma desktop. This is just a little list showing you of what's prepared to move to all users. And then down below, you've got some screenshots, ideas, goals. The idea behind chaos is to create a tightly integrated rolling and transparent distribution for the modern desktop. Build from scratch with a very specific focus. Focus on one DE, which is the KDE Plasma, one toolkit, which is QT, one architecture, which is x86-64, plus a focus on evaluating and selecting the most suitable tools and apps. Their goals, all work is geared toward packaging, not developing new tools or applications. And the target is users who have tried many operating systems, distributions, desktop environments and have found they prefer a distribution that uses all of its own available resources. So that's what their goal, their target, and their ideas are. And then you can come down to their limited repositories and then if you want to support them, you can. So let's scroll back up. What we're going to do right off the bat is go ahead and close out of the website. Now, if you download Chaos and you throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. It just basically says in the welcome, thank you for trying chaos in need of a password file or package list. Want to learn more about the project? Please find the links below. You can install. There's a guide. Your form is right here. A click away. Documentation. Donate. Passwords. Correct passwords for use in a live session. Username root, password root, or username live, password live. That's pretty simple. About, then you've got a little about section you can go through, and then their package list. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the welcome screen. First thing I'm going to try to do is see what kind of wallpapers we have. So I'm going to right click, configure desktop and wallpaper. They're going to populate, so let's give them a second to populate. You've got a lot of different wallpapers here. You've got some KDE centric wallpapers, and then you have some chaos wallpapers. I just want to pick something a little different. Let's look at that one. Let's apply. That's definitely different looking. Let's go with blue. I like the blue. There we go. So let's close out of that. As you can see, you've got one panel, and it is on the right side, which I like very much for the simple fact that with monitors today being wider than they are taller, I like having it on the side. But I do prefer it on the right side as opposed to the left because generally that's the side I work from. So that's just my opinion. You may have a different view of it. But we go over to the panel, and of course, you've got date and time down here. You've got your hidden icons right here, notifications, clipboard, night color control, KDE Connect. If you're an Android user, make sure you zip on over to the Play Store, download the KDE Connect app. That way, you can sync it up with your laptop or desktop. And if you receive messages or missed calls or any notifications at all, they sync right up to your desktop, and you can receive them on your desktop. Close out of that, you've got internet, USB, battery power, volume your drop-down terminal right there. Then, of course, your Octopi notifier letting you know there are two updates. We will look at that shortly. You've got sticky notes. you got your calculator. you got desktop one and desktop two. you got your welcome screen. you got your file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. And it is Dolphin File Manager. And out of the box, it is showing hidden files. Now, if you're uncomfortable with having your hidden files 
showing and you would rather hide them or be able to toggle them on and off. It says show hidden files, just click on that and they disappear. Then you don't have to worry about those hidden files being up there anymore and worrying about making a mistake. And then with one click, they come and go. Now, what you will notice about Dolphin is that there are a lot of things listed over here. If there are things you don't want to see, just go to the section like recent, right click, hide the selection, and it's gone. Search for, I'm going to hide that. And then that opens up some room here. Now, if you're like me and you want these just a little bigger, just right click in this open area, go to icon size. It's on medium. I'm going to go ahead and put it on large. And that makes them a little bigger and easier to see. If you want them even bigger, you can go to huge. And it makes them a lot bigger. I'll just leave it there for now. Now, these right here, if you want to resize these up or down, you can go all the way down. You can come up. You can make them as big as you really want, obviously. That is your Dolphin File Manager. And as you can see, compared to other KDE distributions, when you grab it and move it, it does not have transparency. So we will go ahead and close out of that. And that is the internet browser we were just in, Falcon. Let's go ahead and open the application launcher. You got your applications development, you've got compare, QT assistant, education, you got LibreOffice Math, games, you got K patient, graphics, Gwynview, LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, internet, you've got Falcon, of course, C file, desktop sync client, KDE Connect, KDE Connect SMS, IM contacts, multimedia. You got Alyssa, MPV Media Player, Simple Screen Recorder, SM Tube, SM Player, Office. You have the LibreOffice Suite, Settings, Covantum Manager, and of course, System Settings. Let's take a look at the System Settings. And just like with any other KDE distribution, your settings will open up. Right off the bat, you can go with a light or dark theme. We're on light. I want to try dark. Okay, I like that a little better. There is some transparency in the bar over here. So that looks good. Looks really good. Then down here, clicking, single click or double click to open folders. I'm going to go ahead and double click because I'm used to it. So I will apply that. Then we can go check out appearance. Right now we're on the breeze dark theme. If you wanted to, you could change it over to like the Midna dark. Let's change that and see what that does. Then you get a little bit of transparency and you get a little bit of transparency in your status and notifications. So I will think I'll leave that. Now, if you're up here and these themes do not really give you what you want, Go down here to get new global themes, click on it, go up to recent and make it show highest rated. What that will do is load up the highest rated themes that are available for KDE. Pick the one you want, click install. Once it's installed, you can apply it and you're good to go. Same thing with application styles. You can change your application style, plasma theme. If I wanted to switch that over and go ahead and apply that, I could. Colors, window decorations, fonts. Me, I like to have my fonts a little bigger. so. All you'd have to do is come over here, click on adjust fonts and where it says font, font style, size, click on size, scroll down and I'm going to take it to 12, click on OK. Then it applies it across to everything. Other settings you have, workspace behavior, window management, shortcuts, startup shutdown, KDE wallet, online accounts. If you want to come in and set up your Google account, Microsoft accounts, you can just come in here, add account and do that. Settings, connectivity, firewall, input devices, audio, multimedia, power management, and about this system. It's KDE Plasma 5.23. That's the brand new version of KDE. Graphics platform is X11. Kernel version is 5.14.11-1. That's the newest kernel. And then, of course, we have four gigabytes of RAM issued to this virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of settings. So we'll go up here. I want to look up system monitor. There it is. And right now at present, we have four gigabytes of RAM issued to this virtual machine. We are using about 1.3 gigabytes, which is still lighter, mind you, than the review I just did on the Ubuntu with GNOME 40. So Chaos is running about two to 300 megabytes less on resources than Ubuntu GNOME 40. So that's pretty impressive. So I'm gonna close out of that. So what we have here is we have an independent distribution based on KDE that is keeping everything in the KDE QT environment. And it's not bringing you every single package that's available. It's customizing packages specifically for this distribution. I respect that. I like that. I recommend you guys go over to Chaos's website, download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, give it a test drive. 
Is that something you might do? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel on Patreon, those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.